The following is a fan based narrative. Please support the official release. Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. to Las Pegasus. I guess since they're all naked, males and females share the same locker room, but it's still just a little bit weird, especially with how many adult jokes this episode has. Not to mention the one time when Rarity kicked Spike out of the changing room just because of the fact that they're mares. She hasn't heard of the wild blue yonder? Only the coolest roller coaster ever! How are roller coasters really all that interesting for someone like Rainbow Dash? They fly already and hit Mach 7 on command without suffering any negative effects of G-Force. My little pony, my little pony. And skip. But I can't go to Las Pegasus because I have to teach at Twilight School. You're not teaching now. Again, you hit Mach 7, it could be there and back with no worry. This is the problem with only having like five teachers, but I mean, shouldn't they have contingency plans for this? Everyone has full-time jobs. I'm sure this situation comes up more often than not. Here, I made a list to help you keep the grand mares out of trouble. Where was she storing this list? They could have easily have just put this underneath the hat. No one would have questioned it, but they had to pull it from the side. This really does highlight the faults of Rainbow Dash not just going by herself. Sure hope this apparently super amazing tourist destination doesn't have more than two balloons at once, otherwise it looks like you're out of luck. The wild blue yonder is in our hotel? I'm pretty sure that's not safe. Like, at all. Someone's probably getting sued here. Oh my, you are a strong pony. I just shoot hawks. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. This is most definitely sexual harassment thank or something. You, I'm sure. Whatever it is, it's definitely worthy of a sin. <laughs> you sure your name's not Apple Saucy? Better find the brakes on that buggy sugar we just got here. Yes. Far too saucy for a Y7 show, just like the title, which is probably a real thing, which makes me cringe. But also, coming from me, I don't think I really have room to talk. What? They'll be in here sleeping the whole time I'm gone. Quit judging me! How a minute of loyalty leaves her responsibilities behind in the pursuit of her own selfish goals. They really do live up to those virtues, don't they? Maybe this is getting a bit nitpicky, but at this angle, for some reason, half these ponies just look like they were straight out of Pony Creator. Oh, and uh, look, yeah, Pony Rick and Morty, because why not? And just for good measure, we have to have Breaking Bad in here as well. Excuse me, sir, have you seen the group of old mares around here? Lady, you just described half the ponies in this place. Weren't these two just in line for the ride? Oh, this place is huge! It could be anywhere! Goldie! Goldie! I still have no idea what the point of this game is. You trap yourself in the machine and do what exactly? Or is the girl herself the prize? Make some noise for the best play game of horseshoes this resort has ever seen! Apparently not, since they're one off of the record. So the hotel has obviously seen something better. Uh-oh! <laughs> Mind if I try? Why exactly do they let her steal one of their rounds? I mean, shouldn't the referee or entertainer or, or host, whoever this guy is, say something? I love me some nachos. And they just have a plate of pre-done nachos in the buffet? It kind of defeats the point of the buffet, but hey, maybe, maybe they do. Wait, I am fun! Gordon Ramsay, because cameos and references make up for a lack of content and actual story development. I was thinking, go to our room and put on eye masks and earplugs? Rainbow Dash takes Granny's nachos, then eats them in front of her because she's so nice. Hmm. 
<laughs> Is this supposed to be Trixie's dad? This seems like it should be addressed or something. They couldn't have possibly have chosen a character so close to her design and give him such a similar occupation and then never really bring this up and do that all on accident. Also, this pony is pretty much just an old pony version of Spike. <gasps> this honestly isn't an overreaction as much as it is just a lack of communication between the showman and the chaperone. Also, for the water to rise this fast, I mean, that water pressure has to be immense. Like, there's no way people are getting out of this without bruises or scratches or something. This water would be like being hit with a lead pipe. We are Gold Horseshoe members, the most exclusive club in Las Pegasus, and she's with us. Alright kids, listen up. Just be selfish and you can get sent to the front of the line for whatever it is that you want. Great moral. Also, screw other people, you're more important, because you paid more, because money is the most important thing in the world. Though, to be fair, it looks like most of these ponies have already ridden the ride, probably multiple times. I don't know why the show creators just couldn't, you know, I don't know, like, palette swap them? Also, wasn't Lyra and Bonbon bon at the magic show? How exactly did they get here before everyone else? Not only that, but get here before them and ride the roller coaster because they're not seen on it in the photos. <laughs> 